Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. First of all, ignore my concealer foundation lips <laughs> because I have my entire base on, including my cream contour and my concealer. So I'm ready for powder, girl. I'm so set. So I don't have any powder, obviously, because of the title of today's video. I'm playing with the new Beauty Creations um, by, right, by filter. Yeah, right. By filter, loose setting powders, and they are talc free. Um, so I actually have already played with their translucent powders, um, but they are coming out with a new one. This is their Pink Cloud, I think, right? Yes, Pink Cloud Translucent Powder. So I have played with pink powders in the past, the One Size One and the Huda Beauty, and I really enjoy a pink powder. So if you guys don't know what pink powders are usually for, they are meant to brighten up this under eye area. So if you guys seen, like I'll post pictures right here, this makeup trend or makeup look has been super popular lately and it's just like that nice baby doll light pink under eye like it's just so beautiful um now i will say that pink powders are not for everyone i will say that for every skin tone but i have seen them actually on every skin tone i feel like it just depends on you on what you like and how it looks on you um so i'm really excited to give this a try also it does come with two little puffs que me mandaron i don't know if you guys if you guys can buy these separately i will link them down below for you guys si los encuentro i actually have played with I want to say it's translucent something. Um, translucent Dream. I actually have it back here. So I have played with their translucent powders um, and they literally last you a long time. So these ones retail for $9 and I'm guessing this pink one will also retail for $9, um, which I think is such a great price because you get enough product and I just love Beauty Creations for that. Like they come out with really great products. I mean, we haven't played with this yet, so I can't give you my opinion on this just yet, but they have great quality products for a really great price, especially right now como sale la economía like i can't spend that much money on makeup and i'm super grateful that i get pr um and super agradecida con dios because makeup is expensive and trust me when i have to go and buy my nars foundation or my hourglass concealer and i have to go buy it i'm like <gasps> You know, so like I totally get it, you guys, and I can really appreciate that Beauty Creations does such a great job and keeps their prices pretty affordable. So since it's not online yet, you guys, perdí el papelito que me mandaron, so I'm just going to go off based off their Instagram. So it's going to set, bake, and highlight, and it's going to blur texture, blur out our pores, and any imperfections. So yeah, you guys, pretty much it just sets, bakes, and highlights. So I'm just going based off their Instagram, so look how pretty that glam is. So let's put it to the test and see what happens. Blend out my little lines here. Oh, another thing to you guys, it says that the Pink Cloud Perfect Pink Setting Powder that keeps makeup in place for 14 hours while blurring our imperfections. So you guys know that I have um, a lot of like, um, Pores, especially right here. I did use a brand new um, primer today. This one's from Laura Mercier. It's their Pure Canvas Primer. So I wore this today, but I'm not going to be wearing my makeup for 14 hours, if I'm completely honest with you guys. But I have played, like I said, with their other powders, and the, they do hold up for a good amount. So love the packaging. This packaging is super, super cute. You just pretty much twist it like this, and it opens. And then it says to open right here and remove the little sticker. And I personally love these type of components the how you say it packaging where you can open and close so that way you don't spill powder so we're gonna go ahead and just open it up like that and you guys see this right here like you can twist it to like lo puede cerrar para que no salga powder so i really really love when powders have something like this because i am super messy when it comes to my powders are you guys messy with your powders if you are give this video a thumbs up i feel like it's like everywhere let's go ahead and twist this so that it can open. And what I like to do is just place the powder like this. Okay, so it is pretty on the pinky side. The lights obviously wash this out, so you guys are seeing it right now here on the screen with my iPhone camera, so it is pretty pink. Actually, you know what, you guys? I kinda wanna compare 
with my other two pink powders and see how pink it is so hold on just one second okay so as you guys can see with the one size um powder i feel like it's almost as pink as the beauty creations ones but i feel like the beauty creation one is a little bit more pigmented than the other two obviously the huda beauty one you can see it's definitely more lighter like a light baby pink and then i would say it's like one size and then it's the beauty creations one so the beauty creations one sees them a little bit more pigmentado than the other two um and i wanted to point out to you guys that the beauty creations and huda beauty are almost the same packaging except for obviously the inside is completely different okay so let's put it to the test and see i'm a little curious now because it is a little bit more pigmented than the other two um so i'm I'm gonna go into this one i don't like to go into a baby one i don't know why on myself it's so weird when i used to do makeup on clients i loved using a baby one but on myself i don't know i'm super weird <laughs> okay it says that it's gonna blur my textures and my pores so let's take a look so i'm going in with the little puff give me on that on and when it comes to my powders you guys i always like to just kind of do this to remove any extra product and then with whatever i have left i like to apply it so let's see what happens oh that's pinky oh wow that is so pink i'm gonna continue to just push it into the skin so it's pretty pigmented as you guys can tell i'm gonna go into the other eye and let that bake for a little bit también. and then usually when it comes to like translucent pink powders i usually don't set the rest of my makeup with it because it does have like that pink undertone even with the other um the one size and the huda beauty one i never set my makeup with that um i kind of like it just to like highlight the under eye and make it look more like pinky you know like that trend that's going on but for the rest of my face i'm just gonna go into like my regular translucent powder um so i'm gonna go into oh, this is not my translucent dream yep translucent dream i'm gonna use this one and for the rest of my face i'm just gonna use my beauty sponge again i always like to pat the rest of the product there and i'll just go in and set the rest of my face because you can tell right away how translucent this is you know how it melts right into the skin and the pink kind of looks pinky so i really like these powders because um it melts really good into the skin okay so with that pink powder again you guys i'm gonna apply it again just to like let it bake for a little bit it also feels very very soft you guys so no se siente tan pesado like i really like when powders are super fine um, and I don't feel cakey or heavy, if that makes sense. Okay, so far, you guys, I really like, like I said, it's really fine and it feels very comfortable. Um, I played with their powders before, so it has the same formula and so far I like it. I'm a little concerned because it is really pinky compared to the other two that I just showed you guys. So I'm gonna do my eyeshadow and see once I'm ready to dust it off with you guys, we'll dust it off together, but a ver como queda the end, you know what I mean? And then I can give you guys my final thoughts on how it looks. I'm also gonna take pictures and see if it's flash friendly. I do that with all my powders. Um, so let me do my makeup or finish my makeup really quick and then come back to you guys to dust this off and see what it looks like, so. Give me a sec. All right, so the eyeshadow is done, you guys. And now let's go ahead and just dust off this powder. Way well, said my brush from Morphe, the R11. So let's see. Let's go ahead and dust it off. Y a ver cómo se ve. Dusting it off. Hey. All right, you guys. So I am not liking this. Mm. No me gusta. Okay, so can you guys see like just right here? It looks very like como rojo like i don't know unless i let it set for too long i know my other powders don't do that yeah chicas i think this is gonna be a no for me because <laughs> i can tell right away you guys can see right away how it looks like too pink or too like red i don't know like i wouldn't be comfortable leaving the house with this on my under eyes <laughs> So, okay, let me finish the rest of my makeup. I'm gonna see if I can probably apply some like pressed powder to tone it down maybe. All right, you guys, so I have some thoughts. So, I will say that it does blur the skin. Obviously, I'm wearing Translucent Dream on the rest of my face, so I've already played with the formula, so I have nothing bad to say about the formula at all. Um, The only thing though, I just feel like it looks pretty like i want to know what you guys think right now comment down below right now and what thought is in your head <laughs> regarding this powder on me but i just feel like i've been like sun kissed by the sun 
Um, whenever I'm out in the sun for a very, very long time, usually this is the part of my face where I get a little sunburn. So that's what it kind of reminds me of. Um, I love how it does blur my skin. Again, like I said, I have no issues when it comes to the powder um, formula itself, but I just feel like maybe I left it here for a little too long because usually when I wear the other two powders, like no me pasa esto where it's like super like pink, like salmon color. I wanna say that's what I'm trying to say. Um, but está bonito, like the, the finish is really, really pretty. But I think it might be just a little bit too pink for my personal liking. When I look at myself at the screen right here, it doesn't look bad, you know? And in person, my skin looks so smooth and it doesn't look bad. Um, you know what? Let me take a selfie. Let me take a selfie and see what happens with flash. Okay, and let's see what it looks like. Oh yeah. So it just looks like pink. Ugh. Let me see. Yeah, it just looks like I've been like sun kissed by, like it doesn't look bad. <laughs> it just looks like I got sun kissed. Like I can just see all the pink right here. So those are my thoughts, you guys. I'm a little torn, not gonna lie, because I really wanted to be like superly obsessed with it, but I'm not like obsessed with it, but it's not bad. Obviously, I wanna know what you guys think. Comment down below, have you guys played with any of the Huda Beauty or the One Size Pink Powder? Let me know. I have definitely played with both and they give me a more soft, pinky um, under eye. This one from Beauty Creations is definitely more pigmented. So again, a little bit goes a long way and maybe I just won't let it bake for too long. I'm not obsessed with it, but I don't hate it either. I'm like in the middle. So let me know what you guys think. <laughs> I love you. Besitos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, yeah. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay? Bye.